like a hell cut. Hello and welcome back to the channel where of course once again it's time for another Sega Saturn review and today we have got the sequel to the 1992 classic Mortal Kombat of course I'm talking about Mortal Kombat 2 which saw a release on the Saturn in the middle of 1996 over here in the PAL region. So the storyline is very simple. After losing the Mortal Kombat tournament in the original game, Shang Tsung and Shao Kahn come up with the plan to lure all of the Earthen fighters into Outworld, where Shao Kahn can defeat them all himself personally. Something of interest to note is that Mortal Kombat 2 saw releases across multiple different generations of consoles from the 8-bit systems all the way up to the 32-bit systems like the MS-DOS, Amiga, Game Boy, Game Gear, Mega Drive, 32X, SNES, the PS1 and the Saturn all saw releases for Mortal Kombat 2. I've said this before and I'll say it for Mortal Kombat 2, that menu is a bare bone experience, start game and options, options is all your standard stuff, credits, difficulty, changing the background, checking the controls, that kind of stuff, nothing special. Heading into the character selection screen, you will see we've got a few different characters from the original Mortal Kombat, we've got Katana, Molina, Baraka, Kung Lao and so on, giving us a total of 12 selectable characters. <laughs> The format is pretty simple, you start at the bottom of the ladder and work your way up, defeating each of the characters one by one until you finally face off against Shao Kahn himself. So with all of that out of the way, I need to do what I usually do and talk about the way it looks, sounds, plays, what kind of lifespan it's going to give us and whether it is worth playing today and can make our Saturn top 10. Now Mortal Kombat 2 uses pre-rendered images and a lot of the games from the mid 90s that used them have not stood the test of time at all and look really bad. But thankfully, Mortal Kombat 2 is definitely one of the better ones from that period of time and it still looks reasonably good to this day. I think the character models all look nice. They're all well animated in my opinion. They still look detailed. They don't look sort of blurry and low quality like a lot of pre-rendered images do nowadays. So in that regard, it still looks pretty decent. The backgrounds though, not quite as good. I feel like quite a few of them are static. There's not really much going on in them and they do feel a little bit uninteresting one thing i will say is that you can tell this game has come from 16-bit systems first it came out on the sand after all the other versions had come out and it feels like a 16-bit fighting game it doesn't take advantage of the saturn's power really and a lot of people have said in the past it's not arcade perfect i've never played the arcade version of mortal kombat 2 so i can't really comment on that what I can say in summary for the looks then is that the character models look and move good, but the backgrounds aren't quite up to scratch. So moving on to the way Mortal Kombat 2 sounds, and this for me is the biggest strength of the game because I personally think Mortal Kombat 2 sounds fantastic, whether we're talking about the sound effects of all the attacks, whether we're talking about the digitized voice sampling, and whether we're talking about the music, I personally think that all of this comes together absolutely fantastic in Mortal Kombat 2. I'm not going to say a single negative thing about any of the sound within this game and what I will do though is play you a few of the tracks because these music tracks absolutely fit each stage unbelievably well. I think they're just fantastic.
So moving on to the way Mortal Kombat 2 plays and thankfully again it's more positive things here because it's got a simple interface with a low punch, high punch, low kick, high kick and block and it's actually really really good to play there's no issues it's quite responsive you can pull off all your standard special moves really well and I haven't got any issues whatsoever with that the only downside in the gameplay department is that pulling off some of your finishing moves the fatalities the babalities the friendships can be really tricky because you need to be stood pretty much in the exact space to pull them off otherwise your character will stand there going up and down and just trying to kick and it's that little bit irritating and frustrating other than that mortal kombat 2 still plays a really good game it's still enjoyable it's still great to play with a friend haven't got any other issues whatsoever just those niggling things when it comes to pulling off your finishing maneuvers Outstanding. So what kind of lifespan can you expect to get from Mortal Kombat 2? Well, like I said at the start, it's got a really bare bones experience. It's just your standard one player game and a two player character can join in to give you two player fights. That is where the majority of the lifespan of this game would come from. If you had a friend to play with and you're taking it in turns trying to do each other's finishing moves and stuff, that is pretty much the main bulk of the lifespan in my opinion trying to see every single finishing move and perhaps doing them taking it in turns with your friends to do it if you haven't got that it kind of takes that away from it because all there is is really going through the main one player game to see the short sequence the ending sequence for each character and that really is it the only other thing that adds lifespan to it is accessing the cheat menu because then you can turn on sort of like one hit kills and you can blast through the game really quick defeating all the characters with a single hit and that is quite good if you actually want to blast through and see every single character's ending but then after that the only real challenge for a one player is a one player game is to just turn it on max difficulty and see if you can uh, get past that and it is incredibly difficult if you turn the difficulties up on this game you are going to get spanked time and time again so overall the lifespan of Mortal Kombat 2 isn't particularly a strong point <laughs> No. So in summary, is Mortal Kombat 2 worth playing today? Well, it's still enjoyable to play. I can't deny that. If you've got a friend to play it with, again, it's still enjoyable. Now, if you've played the sequels on the Saturn, then you'll realize that they far surpass Mortal Kombat 2. So if you have access to those, then there probably isn't a whole lot of point in going back to Mortal Kombat 2, which is why I wouldn't recommend you go out and spend the relatively high price tag. I think there's probably 50, 60 pounds now if you want to get a physical copy of this, which is probably not worth it in that regard. And as for it making our Sega Saturn top 10, again, like many other games I've talked about, it plays good and it's enjoyable and it still looks decent and it's got a great soundtrack that really fits the game fantastically well, but lifespan is what kills it, you know. There's just not enough content here to put it in that top 10 with those other games. You can see it on the screen now. Those games there, much more content to those games. And as such, Mortal Kombat 2 doesn't make the list. But what are your thoughts on Mortal Kombat 2? Was the Sega Saturn version the very best version that came out? I mean, I've not played all the other versions. My main experience of console Mortal Kombat 2 experience was playing it on the Master System because that is what I had when this game came out and I played that quite a lot extensively. I played the original on the arcade but never Mortal Kombat 2 in the arcade and, and most of my experience was playing it on the Master System. And obviously the Saturn version far surpasses that. So let me know your thoughts down below and perhaps what is the definitive version of Mortal Kombat 2. And as always, I shall be back in the near future with another Saturn review. Goodbye for now.